creativity for humanity. Yeah. That's what we stand for now. Um, because of that, we uh, because of that 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 uh, mantra, we always keep in mind uh, that thought whenever we're doing new work. Like, is it gonna help people really? Not just not just sell a product. People as human beings, we 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 depend on nature, but. What we want to say also is we need to take care of it for it to take care of us. So it's just it's just a, a give and take uh, situation. We just can't keep taking. Actually, Hanaren is about um, the restorative powers of nature. Right? The, the advertising talks about that. So parang, um, for this certain project, um, because since we already have a traditional um, advertising we have, we also decided to think of parang something disruptive, a mm. disruptive medium. Um, to spread the message of the power of the restorative power of nature. Putting it, as Ali said, in a disruptive medium, that was also a way for us to attract attention. You know, for the brand at the same time, for the the good message that we want to put out as well. Uh, we had to research on what kind of plant could really um, could help clean the water. So we came up with uh, the vetiver plant. So we then talked to the vetiver queen, Noa yeah. Maranang, and then um, so she was the one who. Um, provided the vetiver. Apparently, they use vetiver talaga to clean water in uh, garbage dumps. Um, companies use it to um, to filter out the water in their um, yung mga sewage. Nila. It's just that the agency thought using it as advertising itself is actually a new idea. So the first billboard came out, which is the Clean River Soon. Uh, that was the first one. And then after, it took a while before we came up with the other two, which is the Purifying now and the restoring river billboards. Uh, it was actually a, uh, a real collaboration. Uh, we, we really needed help from from different. so many so many yeah. different people, so many different groups to make it happen. I think so. the the biggest uh, hurdle here is to actually find out how to do it on the first billboard. That was our uh, experiment. How are we gonna do it? How are, how is this gonna last? Uh, the maintenance. Um, yung, uh, how does it really clean? So those things we had to figure out on the first billboard, uh, and then we had to apply that on the following, on the next billboards. In the structure, we really had to also study the structure very well. We, I think we came with, uh, we had two different structures, but because there's the problem of moving water, and there's the problem of weather. It exceeded our expectations because, um, of course, we wanted uh, the uh, environmental websites to uh, to get this also. And NGOs. Uh, and NGOs. But at the same time, even the design design websites, even um, Ad of the Week, it, it even became Ad of the Week in uh, creativity.com. Co-create that website, which is really big on um, design and marketing and, uh, and advertising. We also featured it. It even went to mainstream, like just like normal yeah. sites that just featured uh, things in general. It also came out there, not just uh, the sites that we wanted to, like Even the I environmental think sites. Beauty blogs that featured, and I think yeah. also featured the, the parang that component of the brand that talks about really nature and how how it cares for for the environment. So we weren't just teaching the people of like Pasig River. I mean, we were we were actually spreading a message of taking care of the environment in general. It it came to that. Actually, what I really liked was parang advertising. You know, the advertising websites thought it was um, advertising for good or advertising that um, for a change is um, doing good to society. Um, tapos parang they were also likening it to other campaigns um, abroad like for example the billboard that can um, generate water from Peru, you know, the stuff like that. So um, parang we were happy that our project was um, featured and parang sort of like it's changing what advertising and marketing is uh, for the brand.